Okay? Good day, scholars. So, again, congratulations for enrolling on this course. So, you are, we are about to begin our very first module, module, module 1, Introduction to Online Opportunities. Okay. So, scholars, ang pinasok ninyo, hindi madali. Okay? Uunahan ko na kayo, hindi ito madali. Moses, depende pa sa, sa, sa current situation ninyo ngayon right now. Kasi, uh, marami kayong task, pero lahat ng uh, i-discuss na, i natin, I'm very sure, na marami kayong matututunan. And this will build your skills. This will really build your skills. Most especially if we're able to finish this course. But, the good news is, uh, hindi ko rin naman kayo susupuan. Okay? So, I will not, uh, um, I will keep you pushing. I will keep you pushing and reach the top. And, um, andito lang naman din kami with the assessor to help you and guide you all throughout your course or all throughout this course so don't worry again hindi ko kayo susukuan just do your best okay so yes so before I begin the, our formal lecture I would like to inspire you a little bit okay just a little bit no? so Isa uh, I have here sorry okay, okay let me check okay Lagi ko sa gitna. Yan, aking video. Okay. Isa is a government employee earns 5,000 per week on the sideline. So, um, so, ito yung mga conversation ni Isa. So, nagsa-sideline siya. Ang form ng sideline, ang form ng sideline ni Isa is doing freelancing work. Okay. So, yun ang kanyang sideline, no? So, she earns 5,000 per week on the sideline. Okay. So, well, while she is still a government employee. Okay. So, I do not know, I do not know if this is re re relatable to you, scholars, baka meron dito na nag-working then while doing this course. So, Carla is a senior high school student. Okay. So, maybe this is second year college, no? O walang senior high. Earns 400 euro per month while studying. 400 euro upon checking scholars this is 23,000 per month. Okay, so siguro, instead of Carla doing barkada or doing leisure time, so, ano na lang, nag-freelancing na lang siya para mas maging fruitful pa yung kanyang oras. Okay, so this is Carla. See? Okay, so, I believe some of you here is also student, so good luck. I know you can do more uh, versus Carla. Okay, so Donna, a senior citizen, earns $10 per hour after the training. Okay, see? Senior citizen. So, we have a government employee. We have a student. Okay. And now, we have a senior citizen who earns $10 per hour. Not bad. Okay. So, baka nag-retire na, baka nag na si Donna, nag-earn pa rin siya after the tournament and at the comfort of his home. Okay. So, actually, no, I have a friend uh, senior citizen na rin siya. Actually, marami na rin siyang apo. And she is earning 200,000 per month. Yes, that is 200,000 per month. Okay? She is a copywriter. She is a content writer right now. Okay? So, walang imposible. No? At the comfort of their home because they are freelancers. Okay? So, well, uh, just to inspire you more, I uh, would like to tell a little, a little bit story, uh, um, a little story of Raquel Sara Castro. Okay. Raquel is a PWD born with cerebral palsy. Okay. This caused challenges in her professional life. She enrolled in the JGPH e-commerce and digital marketing course in 2018. Okay. Before digital jobs, RISTT is yung name no program na to, no? So, despite the challenges she encountered during the intense training, Raquel graduated with a certificate of completion with a medal too. Okay, so a while ago, we discussed about your different level of certificate that you'll be getting after finishing this course, right? And 
yung qualification din para maging medalist kayo. So, I met Sarah in one of our in one of the digital PH event. Actually, magkausap kami, magkatabi pa kami. Talagang, she is very difficult in uh, talking. <coughs> Sometimes, hindi mo rin pa maintindihan kung hindi ka sanay yung mga sinasabi niya. Okay. And an e-commerce and digital market, marketing course, isa to sa pinakamahirap ng courses na in-offer na Digital Jobs PH. And I was very, I am very proud that I am also a graduate of the GPH before it was RICT, e-commerce course then. Okay. So, and of course, and of course, uh, I'm very proud na I'm also a medalist at the same time. Okay. So, alam ko ang pinagdaanan at hirap ng e-commerce and digital marketing course na to. So, saludo ako sa iyo, Sarah. So, if Sarah can do this, kaya nyo din yan, scholars. Okay? So, kayang-kaya nyo yan. Nakikita ko sa inyo na malulupit kayo among all my, among all the batches na, na naturuan ko. Kayo, tin, kayo talaga yung pinakamalupit, no? So, yes, I have here a video, no? So, later after this class, panoorin natin yung video ni Raquel yung kanyang testimony about the course and ang kanyang journey sa freelancing. Okay? Get premium clients. Okay. So, ano ba ang matutunan nyo today? So, ngayon pa lang to, no? So, you have 10 learnings na, na ma posible ang matutunan nyo or madagdagan pa yung inyong kaalaman for those na uh, know about this online opportunity. Alright? So, number one, what is online industry? Who's benefiting from it? What are the opportunities available? Business models? How can anyone get his share in the opportunities available? Where can people start? What is virtual assistant? Common tools use common services offered and various opportunities online. Okay. So, does anyone here uh, who are familiar with um, the items presented to you kung ano yung mga matutunan natin for today okay, wala nagkasalita so maybe baka uh, not so familiar o baka naman yung iba uh, ayaw lang di magsalita or baka naman nahihiya lang okay, so let's next go to the next slide what is the online industry okay, so the internet our online industry consists of small, medium, and big companies or individuals. Yes, it can be individuals uh, who will be needing your services later on, right? Who are offering their products at the same time. That provide a wide variety of products and services, primarily online to their websites. Okay. Operations include but are not limited to search engines, retailers, travel services, etc. Product or service or service offerings vary widely within the industry. I know familiar kayo dito. Okay, just like you have your online shopping like Lazada, okay, and all sort um, and other online shopping, yan. Pasok sila sa mga online industry. And I know a lot of there who are offering their services and products doing businesses online. Okay, so that's basically the online industry. Actually, sobrang laki na niya ngayon. Uh, scholars. So, marami talaga kayong opportunity later on. Popular business model, Guru. This is one of example of a platform uh, who caters, freelancers, and uh, promote their services no, online. So, client will go there and then they will hire freelancers. Retail, selling of products or services, usually on fixed price that can be purchased online. Yes, you have there your mga online Shopping, okay. Shopping application, subscription, selling of products or service can be availed of as a package on a regular basis, weekly, monthly, quarterly. So there are services or software or application online that can be uh, availed through subscription. Example, very familiar. Alam ko familiar kerito with Netflix. So with Netflix, you will subscribe on a monthly basis para ma-avail mo yung service nila para makapunood ka ng mga premium movies. Okay? So, popular online professional skills. Okay, class. These are some 
of the many available online professional skills in the in the online industry right now okay so ito lang yung uh, most available na pwede rin namang ibigay ng digital jobs ph at ito yung mga most common na online professional skills but mind you sobrang dami no madami pa talaga ang skills na hindi pa tumalis dito so we have here virtual assistant you have here your data entry so virtual assistant so parang admin works no na sobra pa sa admin kasi as VA dapat marunong ka rin mag graphics and sometimes marunong ka rin mag web ano web entry uh, content i mean content um, entry dun sa kanilang website no and marunong ka rin mag data entry marunong ka rin mag transcription so medyo wide ang scope ng pagiging virtual assistant. Parang kung tutuusin, ikaw yung jack of all trade. Okay? So, data entry, transcription, customer support. Okay. Graphics design, web development. Web development, kung, tu um, kung tutuusin lang, no, class, this is a, a, a separate discipline in the virtual industry. Okay? So, content writing at the same time, email marketing, ano to, um, uh, separate discipline, search engine at the same time, and social media marketing. For graphics, customer support, transcription, data entry, pwede itong sakupin, okay? Pwede itong i-cover ng pagiging virtual assistant mo. Okay? So, these are, yeah, it says here popular. Tama. Okay? There are still many, but the most popular are all of this. Okay. So, what are the benefits? Ano nga ba yung comparison natin between employee versus freelancer and entrepreneur? Okay, so, we just move this uh, face of mine at the other top. Para mas makita niyo yung slides. Okay, so you have here your employee. Okay, for employee, uh, salaries and benefits. They have salaries and benefits. Of course, they are employee. Okay. mandated to ng batas o ng law no? and this has been a practice for freelancer no salaries and benefits okay no salaries, ibig sabihin pag sinabi, baka isipin nyo wala kayong ano, income no? but pag sinabi kasing salaries 15 monthly or um, bi-monthly ang payment with here, on the service na yun na provide mo a service you provided, yun lang ang bibigay sa yung compensation mo. Kaya, nakalagay dito, no salaries and benefits. Benefits kasi wala naman kayong SS, bahala ka sa sarili mo, kung mag, 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 mag declare ka ng o mag self-contribute ka ng mga benefits mo, like SS, will help, etc. No? Kaya, nakalagay dito, no benefits. For entrepreneur, no salaries and benefits as well. Because they based their income on their business. Okay, salaries, security of tenure meron as an employee, lalo na kung permanent or regular ka na. No security of tenure. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, ang mga clients mo, ang mga work mo, come and go. After this one, matapos na yung project mo, lipat ka na sa ulit, ulit sa iba, so hindi ka pwede maging permanent. Even those long-term freelancer na matagal na sa kanilang employer, pwede pa ding wala silang security of tenure. Sa entrepreneur, ganun din. Depende kasi kung mag-boom mag, mag, uh, ang business o hindi. So, wala rin silang security of New York. Steady budgeted income. Ibig sabihin, uh, kung ang salary mo ay with this figure, so next month, ganun din ulit yung salary mo. Okay? So, steady kasi and budgeted kasi din naman ng company yung iyong on that particular position that you have, yun din lang naman yung kaya nilang ipasakot. No steady and budgeted income. Ibig sabihin, this could be more or this could be less for freelancer. Okay. So, ganun din sa entrepreneur. Could be more income or it could be less income. So, depende. Your work hard for your boss. Mm. You work hard for your boss. So, trabaho ng trabaho para sa uh, office para sa business ng iba or for your boss but for freelancer you work for your profit okay so actually you you declare or you 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 propose kung magkano yung pwedeng ibayad sa iyo o kung ano yung kung ano yung worth ng iyong service sa mga client mo 
Okay, so you are the one who are declaring that to your client. So for entrepreneur, you work to build your business. Okay, so yun nga. Pag entrepreneur naman, you can work as long as hours as you want para ma-build yung business mo. Ang end result nun is para ma-build yung iyong business. Okay, so promotion. Uh, promotion for employee. For freelancer, you are the boss. Of course. Kung gusto mo, ayaw mo tong client na to, pwede mo siyang uh, tanggihan. Or kung gusto mo mag-work sa ganitong uh, hours, pwede rin naman. Okay, kung gusto mo mag-work ng panggabi lang, so pwede rin, kasi you are the boss. You work to sustain and grow your business. Of course, as an entrepreneur, kapag hindi ka rin mag-work, so hindi rin mag-boom yung business mo kung tatamad-tamad ka. So, kailangan din yan siya. You have a boss or supervisor for an employee. For freelancer, you work for yourself. Okay. Do the job you want. Do the job you want for entrepreneurs. Okay. Benta ka dito, pwede din. Benta ka doon, pwede rin. So, bahala ka. Job description, you set the deadlines. Okay. So, kung ano sa employee, ito yung mga job description mo, ito yung mga dapat mong gawin. Okay. For Uh, freelancer, you set the deadlines after these deadlines you go next to your next client na so ikaw ang magdidictate ng sa sarili mo for entrepreneurs you delegate okay um, um, yeah, for employee also deadlines, always may deadlines okay, so for freelancer you set the deadlines at the same time okay, so you set the deadlines also with entrepreneur no freedom There is freedom. There is freedom for entrepreneur. No freedom kasi 8 to 5 ka. Kahit masakit ang ulo mo, you need to work. Okay, so uh, may break time kayo. 15 minutes break time. After 15 minutes, 30 minutes, back to work again. So parang hindi ka makagalap. Okay, so parang, parang kahit gusto mong lumabas, hindi mo pwede magawa kasi you are an 8 to 5 hours job. For freelancer, so there is freedom. Of course, ay mo mag-work, pwede ka mag-excuse, gusto mo mag-work lang ng ganitong oras, sa isang araw, you can do that. Ganon din sa being an entrepreneur. Okay? So, are you still awake, scholars? Are you still there? Okay. Please reply one on the chat box. Okay. So, maraming pang gising. Okay. Let's proceed to the next slide. Not everyone Kukulang tong video ko. Not everyone can start the, at a business level, but we can identify where we want to go in the future. Okay, so upon graduation, yeah, some of you here are students, no? So upon graduation, siguro, yung iba, nag-iisip, mag-empleyado ba ako, mag-business ba ako, mag-entrepreneur ba ako, or mag-freelancer, mag-freelancing na lang ako. Okay, for some of for Some of those students of us, no, na nakagraduate din dito, na they are earning while they are still studying. So maybe, meron silang, uh, pwede nilang isipin na, ah, hindi muna ako mag-work, uh, mag-online freelancing nilang muna ako since I am earning. Okay, maybe some of you, or maybe some of uh, those people around, no, mag empleyado muna para makaipon, and then later on, para pag makaipon, they would like to still pursue their business career or yung pagiging entrepreneur nila. Okay, kasi syempre, at the beginning, wala naman sila pang funds instead of loans, nag-utang-utang sila, mga ganyan ba, mag-ipon na lang. So, meron mga ganun din na mga klaseng pag-iisip, no? So, uh, yes, of course, actually, being a freelancer, you consider yourself as an entrepreneur na din. Okay, you will consider yourself later on as a business, yung, yung services mo. Kasi you build your own website, mag register ka rin sa government, you will dic dictate your own services and packages. So, uh, maraming challenges, no? So, at least um, you know from now, at mas marami pang, um, mas marami pa akong i-discuss sa inyo na para magkaroon kayo ng clarity. Okay, kung are you going to push to online on uh, freelancing ba kasi freelancing is not for everyone 
okay? So, depende sa sitwasyon, depende sa preparation mo right now, no? Maybe in the future, you still want to become a freelancer, so you would attain your own freedom. Okay? So, depende. Okay? So, if you want to focus on entrepreneurship, you have to be ready for the consequences. Sobrang dami ng mga challenges kapag mag-start ka ng business. Excuse me. Most especially, kapag mag-start ka na wala ka namang funds. <laughs> okay. So, sabi nila, laway lang ang puhunan. Totoo naman. You can do that. No? But still, you need funds. Kahit yung pinaka-basic lang, no? Mamamasahe ka din eh. Kakain ka. So, kita may pera ka din. Okay? So, aside from that, from the, uh, getting ready with your funds when you when you start your business or being entrepreneurship, no? Kasi kailangan mo din naman talaga din ng funds. Is so, marami pa ding mga challenges ka, most especially at the beginning stage. Okay? So, sabi dito, you have to be ready for the consequences. Uh, so, um, ano yan? Survival of the fittest yan. Kung baga, uh, should be able to survive during the first three years of your of being an entrepreneur. Okay? For most especially, three to five years, no? So, yung first year mo, sobrang hirap yan. Ang dami mga consequences. But, depende talaga sa dream mo if you want to stay to school. But, what we are saying here is that you have to be ready. Okay? For the challenges and consequences. Okay? So, planning is very important here. Okay. So, baba ko lang. Okay. Specialize and Okay. Yeah. So specialize and become an online profession. Online professional. So there are different reasons why an individual would like to become an online professional. However, sabi ko kanina, freelancing is not for everyone. Okay? So in here, so ipapakita ko, i-share ko sa inyo, no? So 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 you would be ready if this really fits you and if not makapag-prepare kayo kung talagang gusto nyo mag-freelancing. Okay. So, you will need to be willing to work at flexible hours. Okay. Sometimes, may client, may, sometimes may client ka na ganitong oras siya nagpapatrabaho sa'yo. Uh, umaga, at may isa ka pang client na ang gabi. So, medyo na, makakat na yung iyong routine. No? So, you should be willing to work at that uh, flexible hours. No? Kasi ginusto mo yun eh at maganda yung bigayan o so maganda rin yung work nakaka, nakaka, nakaka fulfilled ka with that so number one yeah you should be you should be uh, 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 willing to work at that part, uh, flexible hours okay so spend working time mostly alone and talk to peers online so ayun lang just like me I'm still in a room na walang tao na mas gusto ko pang nakasara yung pinto ahimik oo na hindi ako makausap lalo na pag meron akong sinusolve na problem so mostly uh, if you want to work and you are comfortable working alone then pwede ka pwede mo i-consider ang freelancing number 3 when you start handling a good number of online jobs your social life will also be affected so sometimes in the near future, pag anbi, ano ka na, marami ka ng skills, magaling ka na, mag-close ng mga deals, and demand ka na, you will be working with four clients to five clients, no? Kasi, uh, in here, the more clients you have, or, maybe, if you could, you would be able to get a client that is um, big time, na talagang, with all, with all of those four, compensate niya with only one client, so, your social life will also be affected. Okay, ibig sabihin, hindi ka na makapag-join sa mga badminton activities ninyo, basketball activities, chikahan, gaming. Okay, so that will be cut off. Okay, kasi nga, uh, kulang na yung time mo to do all those jobs. Number four, you can lose projects. Hence, the need to be actively seeking for opportunities. So, very frustrating. Kahit na apat-apat na yan, may tatlong nag tatlo na lugi, no? Na hindi mo naman din kasalanan. So, iisa na lang yung project mo. So, yeah. So, you still have to continue seeking for other opportunities pa rin. Actually, tapat, habang gawa mo yung tatlo, mararamdaman mo naman kung medyo sino na yung alanganin, medyo mag-uumpisa ka ng mag-anap-anap. Okay, just be ready with that. 
So number five, you may also fail to meet client expectation at times. That's the need to recover from it. So, ganun talaga eh. So, uh, sometimes talagang hindi na talaga kaya. So, mag kailangan na mag-give up. Meron talagang bagay na ka-give up, give up. So, recover from it. Uh, move on na. Okay, so part of your experience. Para at least, na, ano lang, next time, alam mo na yung gagawin mo. So, dissect all those learnings that you have with your failed clients and then ilipat mo or gawin mo or baguhin mo sa susunod. Okay? But, oh, it says here that still being a freelancer and an entrepreneur, no, a business owner at the same time will give us endless opportunities. Okay? Yes, it's endless. Actually, uh, in the U.S., thousands of thousands of business, business uh, owners and entrepreneurs are opening in the Western countries. Okay? So, lahat, and they are sh really shifting into um, virtual jobs. Okay? So, most especially in Asian, kasi magagaling tayo mga Pilipino and Asian sa mga Asian countries. Okay? Okay? So, idagdag ko lang, no? Uh, most especially for being a freelancer. Kasi ito naman focus natin. Being a freelancer, it could be an endless opportunities kasi nga, uh, there are so many clients out there, many platforms out there na nangangailangan ng service natin o nangangailangan ng mga skills na meron tayo. Okay? So, all you just have to do is to hone your skills uh, make good, be professional, and be ready all the time so that ma-achieve niyo yung ideal income niyo at yung, uh, yung ideal uh, client. Okay? Ito rin, ganun din sa business. It could be an endless opportunities. Okay? So, yes. So, good luck. And with that, are you ready to get started? Okay. Convince na to do freelancing? Or are you now ready to uh, what tawag dito sinasabi ni uh, Transformer? Uh, let's roll in. <laughs> okay. So, Autobots, get ready. So, what you need? Uh, so, at least, meron na kayong idea kung uh, fit ba sa inyo to. If not, at least makapag-prepare kayo o ma-prepare ninyo ang mga list na to. Okay, so, at least you are committed kasi freelancing is not easy. Uh, first three months, six months, or even one year, wala ka pang client. So, at least, focus ka lang. Just uh, uh, keep on going. Oh, nakalagay dito, go attitude. Kasi nga, committed ka, so go attitude ka lang para ma-achieve or makakuha ka din ng client mo. Okay. So, computer or laptop with a decent internet connection. Oh, this is very important, internet connection. Of course, of course, dapat may internet connection. At decent, dapat kuha na kayo kung anong available dyan sa area ninyo ng medyo mabilis-bilis at reliable na internet connection. Headset and webcam for interviews. This is also very important kasi may mga client kayong gusto niya kayong makita. Baka kasi kayo isang robot o hindi kayo legit. Okay, so webcam, most of the computer or laptop, most of the laptop right now may webcam naman you can use naman uh, the built in no? while you are still starting headset at least clear man lang yung voice nyo at narinig nyo na maayos yung uh, client nyo doesn't have to be expensive okay. your skills, knowledge and abilities, of course your skills, ano bang iyo offer mo na skills sa client mo na pwede mong maitulong sa business niya so remember, no? remember scholars you are there to help them grow their business. Okay? So, remember, uh, you are there in order for, in order for their business to uh, leverage, no? Para at least mag-grow yung business nila at masolve mo yung kanilang mga problems. Okay? So, attitude, work, and business ethics. So, may mga, in, in, before the end of this course, may mga work and business ethics tayong i-discuss para alam niyo so hindi lang naman bara-bara o hindi na naman basta-basta din ng online freelancing andun din dapat yung pagiging professionals natin 
Okay, so may mga works and ethics tayong i-discuss dyan. And your attitude, of course. You should always be polite kahit hindi mo nakikita yung client mo. Or kahit na hindi mo siya nakakausap through chat lang, pairalin pa rin natin scholar. Okay, pairalin pa rin natin class ang pagiging mga Pilipino natin. Your networks, family, friends, and friends of friends. Okay, so this is also very important. System and procedures. Okay, so along the way, habang dumadami client mo, habang kinacraft mo at ini-improve mo yung mga services mo, so nakaka-develop ka din ng systems and procedures mo o yung sistema mo, no? Para yung sistema mo mismo kung paano ka mag-work. So pwede mo din yan siya ma-develop and apply sa mga future clients mo. Okay, starter, starter toolkit. So, for employee, decide what skill or service. For freelancer, decide for your niche. So, ikaw mag-decide, ikaw mag being a freelancer, kung ang gusto mo bang i-serve ay mga wellness coaches, parlor, uh, parlor restaurants, cafe, etc. So, for entrepreneur, decide for your business model. Okay, so ano ba? Services ba yan? Retailing, e-commerce, so depende. Uh, update your resume, CV. So, for freelancer, ready, ready your profiles, portfolio, brand, website, social media, page, etc. So, lahat ito class pa mag-aralan ninyo in the coming days. Okay? With your portfolio. Website and social media presence. So, may marketing side din. May digital marketing side din ang pagiging entrepreneur. Search for VA agency sites. Search for online opportunities. And be visible, offer value, online build authority. Okay? So, in here, uh, being a freelancer, so ikaw maghahanap ng opportunities mo. Ikaw magdidetermine kung kaya mo ba. Or ikaw, mag ikaw magdidetermine kung gusto mo ba yung particular job of offering na yan. So, for entrepreneurs, you have your business permits, BIR registration, build your marketing strategy. Okay, so kailangan mo din mag-register sa, 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 sa city ko, uh, sa munisipi ninyo, and BIR registration, and build your marketing strategy. Create your profile, build your marketing strategy as well for entrepreneur, and hire people to leverage work, of course. So for for employee, check out job vacancies that you want to apply to. So for freelancers, uh, yeah, you have here your your tools. Be ready with your tools, Trello, G Drive, etc. Prepare for discovery session. Okay. Ganun din sa entrepreneur. May mga tools din silang ginagamit. And, and uh, they will train their staff or train and train. They will train their staff no, para maka ma accomplish nila yung work nila properly. Prepare for an interview naman for employee. So, um, syempre, interviewing sila ng, ng, uh, ng, ng future employer nila. So, they have to prepare for that. For the freelancer, uh, contracts and payment gateway, so dapat nakaprepare din kasi syempre, paano ka babayaran? Uh, dapat naka-ready yan, dapat verified, dapat legit, no? At the same time. Start client work per project, business permit via registration. Oh, kahit freelancer ka, you are still obliged to register your 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 uh, freelancing business and mag-register ka rin siya BIR kasi meron kang obligasyon sa bansang Pilipinas. Okay. So, for entrepreneur, of course, you still have to prepare your contracts and payment gateway as well. Pero ito, mostly, ito pwede na itong local, local bank, no? Kasi dito lang naman transaction mo, especially if you're operating in your locality. QA and other sales support, etc. Quality assurance, no? Especially if you are a manufacturing industry or you have a very, uh, uh, good product na ikaw mismo yung gumagawa. Okay. So, ito yung tatlong comparison with their starter toolkit para makakuha ng client and be ready also with their employers or get customers for entrepreneurs. Okay. So, now, you have your common tools for online professional. This will be our next topic. So, we are going to discuss and um, check on each of these tools, no? and sign up and have these tools ready um, on the next lecture okay so yes be ready and again congratulations and good luck scholars <laughs>